you go down there, you're down in San Diego, and now you're getting off the bus and getting on those yellow footprints. Yeah, yeah. So about 30 minutes in, and you know, and all the Marines sure. listening know, um, about 30 minutes in. I was like, holy crap, I made a mistake. What did I do? <laughs> yeah. what, what did I do? How did I piss off everybody down here? Why are they so mad at me? Um, it, it was terrible. I, I did. I looked at my buddy as we were getting our heads shaved. In fact, I was the first one to get my head shaved. Then I had to sweep up everyone's hair. Because every kid sat down and got their head shaved with that same look in their face. Like, we all made a mistake. Yeah, their eyes are huge. Yeah. It was horrible. Right. Uh, so I did. I, I truly thought I made a mistake. I'm never going to survive this. Um, it's It's been two hours and, and I want to go home. It really what yeah. I was thinking. It was like, I, I got to do this for four years? Is all I could think of. I, I thought boot camp was the Marine Corps. So I, right. I really, truly thought I made a mistake. Um, and and I, I was trying to find ways out. What, what could I do? You know, how can I... Just change my mind, do over. I, I want to go back to to my life of doing what I wanted to do. So that, that was a tough first three days of receiving barracks. It, it is, and it's it's goofy. I remember guys. I mean, that that first three or four days is just a because your mind's just a, a blur. You don't sleep for the first yeah. whole day. Yeah. I mean, you honestly, you don't sleep overnight. You you get there in the middle of the night. It turns into a, turns into day, and you're still doing stuff, and then you. Yeah don't get to sleep for another 24 hours or so. And then, and then I remember, and this is the part that I remember specifically is the, you don't for a week maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> they scared it out of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're scared to death, right? So uh, that's, that, that's one thing I specifically remember. But, uh, so you get in there, and, and boot camp was cool though. From, from Reveille to, to TAPS, you're always moving. You're always doing something. And I and I got tired of being yelled at. I never had never been yelled at like that in my life by anybody. You, my, my dad was soft spoken. You know, I knew when I pissed him off, but I'd never been yelled at. And I got so sick of it so quickly. I started getting on other people. You know, the other recruits like, hey, cut the crap. Get well, you got to hurry up. You make it right. You know, do these things so we stop getting yelled at. And the drone instructors noticed that, and they kind of, hey, come here, you. Now you're in charge. And next thing I know, I'm the guide um, <laughs> in charge. And, 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 but they listened to me. Right. You know what I mean? I, I still didn't know what, what Marines did or, you know, I was still, still wasn't sure what I was doing there. Um, uh-huh. But just like confidence and bearing. And they started listening. Um, the edge I had was, again, you know, physical fitness. So getting thrashed didn't bother me. Right. Um, and I knew the drill from, from the pool lead functions that I, that I went to. And I liked drill. Uh, and I think those are the two biggest hurdles. If, if you can PT and and you can drill, you, you can march right. You're that, good. That's yeah. it. Less yeah. negative attention on you. Um, yeah. So it, it was. I, I don't want to say it was easy. Of course, I, I hated every single morning, and you know we wore out. And but but just the the chance and the opportunity to lead and kind of help other people. So when I saw the kids that couldn't hang, couldn't do a pull up, or crying every night, that kind of motivated me to to help them. But but put more confidence in myself. Yeah, agreed. I was that guy that was that would help people. The guys that couldn't do one or two pull ups. Yeah, right. And you were just over there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do. Let's do a couple of them now, really quick, while we have a break. Yeah. And you rarely got a break, and they had no problem getting somebody to go do some pull ups really quick, and then get back over. And, you know, clean your rifle or do whatever you yeah. needed to do. But so so you you go through boot camp. Everything was cool, and you went obviously in the summertime, hottest time of the year yeah. in San Diego. So that had to be kind of brutal. It was miserable. But, yeah, but you graduate from there, and you now you're getting ready to go out and fleet Marines, right? I am. I am. So through boot camp, because I was the guide, they offered me to switch MOSs. Uh, and again, I didn't know one from the other. Still very, very lacking. I wish I would have studied more before I went. But uh, they had a drill instructor come talk to me. You're the guy, you're motivated. You're a grunt. You don't want to do that. You want to be an engineer. You want to mess with C4 and dynamite and blow things up. And I was like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just telling him what he wanted to hear. So I actually switched. I was a combat engineer. That was before they didn't have MCT back then. I went right to uh, combat engineer basic school in Lejeune. And even then, 
still kind of unsure, but now you get a little taste of it, right? You're not being yelled at 24 seven by drone instructors. Now you're being yelled at by senior Lance corporals, you know, uh, right. other kids. You get a little bit taste of power. <laughs> and think, oh, I'm, you're, you're right higher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, the freedom was cool. And now you're in a barracks room and um, I got a paycheck and you know, it's still um, a little more freedom. I was like, okay, I can do this. This, this is not, this is not so bad. Let me start trying to implement some of those things they taught me in boot camp about, I mean, I did this to defend my country. That was it. So let me start doing those things and getting that motivation. It's still college and school and all that stuff wasn't, wasn't on my mind. Now I just wanted to be the best Marine I could possibly be. That's cool.